Watch you guys, got a quick video here for you on how to remove two blue arrows on folders and files in Windows 10. Also, this is causing a problem where when you open images up, you get a white screen just like this one. These are the two blue arrows that you can see here that are on all files and folders. And uh, you might be thinking that this is related to a different issue, which is with the compressed files, which is these two arrows. They're not the same type of blue arrows. This one is related to Norton uh, 360. And I'm going to show you how to remove them. Um, so go to settings here. Inside settings, you want to go to backup settings. And you want to toggle off the backup set, uh, status overlay. Also, what this does is leave little green ticks as well. And what that means is, is basically to do with the backup. Now, I'm not going to be using the backup on this for now, so I'm going to turn it off. And again, uh, if you are using that feature, then leave it on. But if you want the status overlay turned off, then you can toggle that off. Now, the ticks will still be there, and also the arrows will still be there. You need to go into your C drive users then your user account and look in app data if you don't see app data go to view options and inside here go view again and you should see show hidden files folders and drives put the radio button in there and apply and okay and basically what that's going to do is give you access to the app data folder go to local go down to icon cache and delete the icon cache database now the icon database will be rebuilt as soon as you restart your PC. So go ahead and restart the system. And once you've done that, your ticks, green ticks, and also blue arrows will be removed. Uh, that's the status overlay on Norton 360. And I prefer to have that off. Uh, so that's basically how you can resolve that problem. Now this is nothing to do with the compression uh, for files and folders, the blue arrows that you have on there. This is a completely different thing. So this is basically how you can turn those off very simple and easy to do. That is the Norton 360 issue right there. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out. Just a quick video. I'll upload another quick video after this one. So you've got two for today and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.